Okay, so um, for the purposes of this video, um, apologies for the, the light keeps changing and I realise that makes it harder to see, but I'm going to try and keep the ISO constant. Um, but uh, I'm just going to pop out this uh, woofer and have a look and have a look at the state of the crossover because I'm keen to see how, um, or you know, whether anybody's actually been in here before me. So. Um, I'll do this, it's a bit odd, but on this posi drive, I'm just popping a little bit of kitchen towel in there um, so that I don't damage the screws because I, I quite like everything to look just so. So that's that's got me started off in there. Um, there we go. Um, so I'm just protecting this, the screw head in essence. That's what's happening there. Taking note of which way round it is, because I'm going to want to turn it through 180 degrees. But you can see all the uh, the baffling. That's pretty cool. That's good. That's in good condition. SP1063As, as you might expect. Eight ohms. That's fine. There's nothing on the back of that at all. So they look in good condition. That's the first bit of good news. Just resting that back in there for now. While I take the lay on it on the top. And I'll just quickly do the tweeter. Actually, so I might uh, might just drop them in some WD-40 and let them sort themselves out. Let's have a look at the state of this. Okay. Okay. They look reasonable, and they're in pretty tight as well. So I'm not gonna. Come about K two six seven sixes. Okay, they're all all original. That's good. Okay, right. I need to get the the dampening material out so as I can have a look at the crossover. So let's just carefully lift this again and have a look. I under here. I'll right, just lift that, put that to one side for a moment. There you go. Uh, and somewhere in here should be a crossover. So I'll move you in so as you can have a little look. There you can see I've got the the baffle. So in here should be I've got all this dampening equipment here. So I'm just carefully lifting that out. And that's keeping everything else in place. And there, lo and behold, is an original. 
crossover. There we go, in there. And with that, uh, I want to, I'm going to take that board out, make a note of all the capacitors that I'm going to need. I'll swap them for owl caps, um, probably go to Falcon um, and go and get those. Uh, I wanted to have a look at the uh, inductors. The inductors look okay, actually, as in, in terms of there's no there's no burning or any discoloration around here, which might otherwise have been there. Um, that's interesting. Somebody's put the um, two two caps in parallel, so it might be that someone's already had a look at this, or that might have been done at the factory. I don't know. I'll uh, I'll have a look at the other one and see what uh, see what state that's in. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's common if you can't get the the particular capacitor type uh, to put two in uh, two in parallel there. So okay, that's that's good news. Uh, I'm gonna have a what I'm gonna do next is have a look at the other one um, and make a list of all the parts and then uh, swap out the capacitors. So that's next. <laughs>